sense of tranquility in our soul. But anger and passion make us not wait long for the things we ask of the world and the people too. So we wait for the music to hit us so that liquid smooth, a bitter red dust, spark something new, a sinker quick up and dissolve, that that will be enough to get us through the day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex McCulloch. I'm a singer-songwriter from Scarborough. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm 20 years old. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell I'm doing or why I decided to be a musician, except it's the only thing that I've ever felt really good at. And it's crazy because being a musician, your success is built entirely upon what other people think of you. And what with everybody telling me that I'm insane to go into the arts, and what with the highly publicized deaths and suicides of my heroes, Jimi Hendrix, Sylvia Plath, all the other people who have struggled, it makes me feel like I'm crazy. And I feel like I need to know everything. When I was 16, I lost my mother to alcoholism. And this pressure to succeed just felt like it was weighing down on me. I was juggling plates and I didn't know what to do and I knew my mother had crushed under that weight. And I felt this intense longing for my childhood. When everything shone so brightly in the sun. I wrote this song. I won't give my answers. I won't get my drink. Thank you. 
change when I grew up there was a street corner where me and my friends would pass the time and I went back there a few weeks ago and it's all construction lines and all Bro. Thank you. So I've been writing and singing songs since I was about 12 years old when I hit puberty and I was like, oh my God, feelings and boys don't like me and ah, I have no boobs. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but I didn't get a band together until a couple of years ago because nobody wanted to play with me until then. Um, and immediately, I was like, okay, ambition, I'm going to get signed, it's going to be great. I was making a website, I had business cards, I was learning to do contouring, so I'd look better in photographs, all of these things. And it was driving me nuts. And I realized that I was putting so much effort into making it in music, that I wasn't making music, if you get what I'm saying. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm doing this, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going crazy, which was, you know, my biggest fear, right? And I realized I just want to tell stories. That's it. And I don't care what people think. I only care if people think. So I wrote this story. And like so many of my songs, it starts in a bar. <laughs> I think that's a, you know, exciting things, weird things happen in places with dark lighting and gross people. And, and it starts in this girl's at the bar and her day sucks and this dude comes up to her, as they do, you know, and he talks to her. Hey, this sweetheart, tell me everything about you. I'll buy you a drink and you can explain your tattoos. I like the way you chug it like you're not afraid to puke. I came here with some buddies, but they can find their own thing to do. She says, hey, thanks for the offer, but I came to be alone. I'll just finish this up and then I'll go home. It was really nice to meet you though. Hope you have
have a good night. He stumbled away like he'd just been beaten in a fight. It's the end of the day, the end of the silver spoon. So she leaves, and she decides to take a taxi. This was before the Uber days. Hey there, mister, I need a cab. I, I gotta get back there, and I gotta be fast. Then again, take your time. No one's waiting. Hey, tell me your story. Have you been lately immigrating? Yeah, I came over here in 98. My sister sponsored me. I thought it was fate. I got five children. I used to be a heart surgeon. Cabin, my bank account's always hurting. Who's howling at the moon? Who's singing a sad tune? It's the end of the day. Door creaks when it opens and it goes so loud through her empty apartment that once was so crowded. Do you remember? She wanted it to be alone. And now she'll watch a TV drama and cling to her cell phone. Oh, well, who's Beginning of the blues. Thank you very much for having me out. <laughs>